Hello, and welcome to another episode of Crossword Radio. This is your enigmatic host, The Brain, and today is Monday, February 28th, 2022. Monday is New Yorker's uh, tough puzzle. They recently changed their little crossword landing page here, and this little guy no longer has the t- temperature gauge um, or or the expression on his face to tell you uh, the difficulty of the puzzle. But Mondays are their hard puzzles, Wednesdays are their medium puzzles, and Fridays are their difficult, are their easy puzzles, rather. Um, so anyway, today is Monday, their difficult day, and the tan last uh, is a good constructor. I usually cannot finish his puzzles, um, especially on a Monday. Uh, he's pretty tough. Usually a couple things that are just ever so slightly out of my, um, you know, out of my ken. But let's see how we do today. I believe I completed or very nearly completed the last and the tan last. So let's do it. Posers at the beach in old slang. Who? Don't think I know that one. Uh, flashy ride. Maybe a hot rod. Dust bowl migrants. Uh, was that Okies? Having layers. Maybe something is deep. This looks wrong. Video game series that begins in Pallet Town. Well, maybe not. I believe that is Pokemon, although I'm not 100% sure. Um, But with that OKE, that looked pretty good. A band aid probably is an amp. Hmm. So what, relative? Yeah, and? Sue me. Who's asking? Uh, Don't know. Someone who might spend a lot for just kicks. Who might spend a lot just for kicks. Is this going to be like a kickboxing instructor or something like that? Or trainer? Spend a lot just for kicks. Hmm. Darling. Looks like honey pie or sweetie pie or something. I'm not sure about Hot Rod. What What is this? A PR liability. Bad rep? Some prom quaffs. Okay, sorry about that. Pause for a second. The uh, volunteer fire department siren was going off. Alright, I think this is up dues. Move later in the schedule. Could be bump. Blend. Maybe is meld. Start to mature. This is probably a prefix of the word mature. Could be premature. Evidence of a rainstorm is a puddle. Uh, I see now that this is cutie pie. Elaborate lark is a caper. Yeah, okay. So this upper left corner went pretty well. I have no idea what this is. Ho dark hodams. Hodams? Um, this is probably an S. Might spend a lot just for kicks. Oh, a sneaker head or something like that. Someone who is really into sneakers. Blank State, school with campuses in Dominguez Hills and Chico. No clue, no clue. One point throws and horseshoes. Oh, are those uh, leaners? Gives the axe. Maybe hues, if you like hue a tree with an axe. Loops in in a way. This is is a very frequent crossword ease. I see this all the time now. In this crossword, other crosswords, just all across the spectrum. I think it's just a very useful collection of letters. I think this is probably CCs, as in carbon copies on an email. Okay, tons, maybe slews. Get some of these long ones. 1959 Gwendolyn Brooks poem set at a pool hall called The Golden Shovel. Nope. Executive producer. 
of the 2020 documentary Disclosure Trans Lives on Screen. Oh, I don't know, Laverne something? Um, who is that trans actress that was on Orange is the New Black? I'm guessing this is that person. Selection at a Japanese restaurant. Sakes, maybe? Cal State? No. So what? Hodans, maybe? No, I can't, or something like that. I'm not sure. Not sure. Uh, how about... Uh, let's take a shot. Group whose members were named Blick, Flick, Glick, Snick, Plick, Wick, and Quee in a 1912 play. Absolutely could not tell you that. Not even close. Uh, we've all been there. If you're ashen, you're pale. Another word for pale is wan. Some vehicular collisions. Rear enders, maybe? Um, blank restrictions. Dietary restrictions, maybe? Uh, turned aeronautically, maybe yod is one way you can turn. Bad, bad Leroy Brown. I certainly know that song. There's a song that I know. I think that might be Laverne. What is this? Seven Dwarves, maybe. Okay. So they were not Doc, Sleepy, Grumpy, whatever. Uh, Dwarfs, maybe? Chow Alternatives. Um, well, Chow is what? Goodbye in Italian, so this looks like goodbye in Spanish. Dias, buenos dias. Good day. Greets silently. Uh, waves at. There you go. Body image, yep, is a tat, an image on your body. We're a, I don't know, not sure. Ho dads, maybe? Is this do I care, maybe? Hmm. Let's see if we can continue into this lower left corner here. First thing to know about our club. Rule one. Unagi Maki by another name. Eel something. I don't know, but I recognize Unagi as being eel. Uh, poorly, maybe if you're doing poorly, you could be ill. One who no longer needs training wheels. A big boy, maybe? Ex-Spice Girl Halliwell. I think this is Jerry. I think. A flat pack retailer, of course, is Ikea. Eccentrics. Um, I would say kooks. So maybe boy is wrong. Maybe a big kid. Kooks. An eel roll, I guess. You can have sushi rolls. Sound, for example. So this is uh, an inlet, like the Puget Sound. It's actually one of my favorite uh, etymologies is sound because we use this one word to mean all these different things, but they all come from completely, you know, independent sources that are just by complete coincidence, have, you know, sound like the word sound. So sound as in uh, what you hear, like that, you know, splash made a sound, uh, that comes from the Latin sonos. Uh, if something is sound, like a sound idea, or if you're of sound mind, uh, that comes from the German for health, gesund, where we also get gesundheit, but the sund part of it, and also just... Uh, Sund, I think in Norse, maybe, is means to swim, which is where we get the inlet, like the Puget Sound. So anyway, just a brief digression on the etymology of sound. Uh, an utter mess is a sty, like a pig sty, a rain delay. Okay, this is going surprisingly well for a Monday, and especially a Monday by an attend last. We'll see here that look upper right corner looks like it's going to be tough to break into. 
because I don't know any of those uh, across answers. But let's see if we can break into this lower right section here. WNYC show known for its stylized soundscapes. Ooh. Um, I am doing this radio. Ah, Radio Lab. Yes. There we go. Crossroads author. Nope. Levy of Schitt's Creek. Um, this must be like his kid, right? Because Eugene Levy is uh, is a is a Levy, <laughs> and he's on Schitt's Creek. Uh, I know, I've never seen the show, but I do know that Eugene Levy is on it. Is this going to be like Dan or something? Um, let's see. Linguistics 101 subject. Letters look okay. I can't quite think of the word. Uh, Crossroads author, still don't know. Utterly pristine. Hmm. Japanese dumplings. Don't think I know. It's packed in case of emergency. Is this a go bag? Thumb to an anatomist. Is this a duke claw? No, something not a don't worry about it. Lin Hinyan's poetic autobiography, whose most recent version, updated when the author was 45, Consists of 45 sections with 45 sentences each. Couldn't tell you. I don't know about that. Um, mononymous teen idol of the 50s and 60s. Elvis? Mononymous. There's one named. Hmm. Fox coverage? So, uh, there's a pun about you know, the Fox News Channel, but this is actually, uh, I'm guessing, covers Fox the Animal, which is fur. Okay. Wright Patterson for one. Wright Patterson. Hmm. Don't know. White Hot Anger could be Rage. What is this? Something come from kind of bare... Fab Fabian? Yeah. Wright Patterson. Uh oh. Utterly pristine. Utterly pristine. What could that be? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, let's see if we can break into this upper right corner here, right? Laverne, is this like Laverne Echo? Word derived from the Hindi for to massage. Is this going to be something related to massage? Is this chakra? Hmm. Time travel conundrum, perhaps. A, a paradox. What's this? Kissing on the street. Okay, this is not chakra. Kissing on the street, for example, is a PDA, a public display of exception. I think this is paradox. I don't... Laverne... I don't know. Uh, is a paradox like that? Oh, maybe just Laverne Cox. Okay. We're... Something or we real uh, sit in a pool hall. No clue. Like the Alban Berg opera, Wojek, Wozek. Is this like Polish or something? Alban, um, don't know. Roman holiday conveyance. I don't know. A Gondola or something? Uh, old, no clue. B 
bygone Apple messaging app. Was there something called iChat? Another mononymous, Hollywood Squares Regular. Jeez. Second. Second. To second something, maybe to echo. If you second like a, an opinion. Um, let's see. Its national anthem is Asalama Sultani. Well, that certainly sounds Arabic. Uh, so I'm going to guess Oman. Shampoo? Hmm, interesting. We Real Cool? Ooh. Um, what is this? Atonal, maybe. An atonal opera. Um, just hand me the ice pick so I can shove it into my ears. Okay, no clue. Old something. A Roman holiday conveyance that certainly looks like a Vespa, which is a, an Italian uh, motorized scooter. Old Vic. You know, I think I have heard of that. Wasn't that the building uh, in V for Vendetta, the Old Vic? I think it might have been. So just this lower right corner. No something nada. Don't worry about it. Right, Patterson. I'm not even, can't even think of a word that fits this pattern. I like fur. I like rage. Rage, if I like rage, I like fur. And if I like rage, I like go bag. Radio Lab, it's definitely Radio Lab. I listened to that for many years. Utterly pristine. Well, let's start. Um, I'm stuck, obviously. Linguistics 101 subject. Like synonyms or something. Um, anyway, let's start with a check. Okay, everything's right. <laughs> It's nice that everything's right, but that means that the check wasn't helpful. Uh, Crossroads author. What do I think is going to be the most helpful? Let's try this one. Because there's no way I know this. I don't think I've even heard of this person. Um, so. My life, sure. Okay. Utterly pristine. Mint, maybe. Maybe mint. Syntax. Okay, here we go. A thumb. Ugh, I don't think I know that word. Gyoza. Okay, I've heard of that. Franzia or something? No. What is this? Mononymous Teen Idol. I'm guessing Fabian. I don't know. I've never heard of this person. Um... No something. What the hell is this? Wright Patterson. I can't I can't even begin to think of what this might be. No don't worry about so I, I just have no idea. An anatomical name for a thumb. That looks like it's either maybe an E or an I. Franzen. Well, I think we just need to reveal our way out of this. Um, reveal me. Pollux. Okay, sure. And I can't eat. Pasa. No pasa nada. Usafub. USAFB? What is this? USAFB. United States Air Force Band. Right? Patterson? Air Force Base. US Air Force Base. Jesus, USAFB, USAFB. Well, you got me there. Pollux. Let's look that that up too. Pollux. Let's 
The first digit of the forelimb. <laughs> well, you put it like that. Okay. From Latin, of course. Meaning your thumb and or your big toe, which are, you know. Well, that would be of your hind limb, not your forelimb. This doesn't say the first digit of your hind limb. Um, yeah, there we go. Uh, so that was the Monday New Yorker by Natan Last. And, uh, oh, hodads, that's another weird term. Hodad, let's look at that one up. Someone who comes to the beach and has a surfboard but never surfs. Um, let's see. Origin unknown. <laughs> okay. Hodad. I've certainly never heard of it. Kind of uh, a little dated references in here. Hodad. I mean, I was able to eventually figure it out, so I guess that's not too bad. Um, but this corner right here. Pollux. Pasa. Usafib. I mean, obviously I've heard of United States Air Force bases, but um, I've never seen it abbreviated as USAFB, you know, as one big long abbreviation like that. Anyway, uh, that'll do it for today. Oh, look, we have our two Spanish answers right in a row here. No pasa nada. I can't say that's one, you know, the only Spanish I know is, is what kind of bleeds into uh, common American parlance. I don't think this one has, at least not around where I live. Maybe in, you know, Cal State. But, uh, not here. Uh, there we go. Um, this has been The Brain. I will see you, uh, next time, whenever that is. And until then, stay safe out there. Bye. <laughs>